The cosmic alignment countdown is on. Circle the date April 8th. A total solar eclipse is set to occur. It's a phenomenon that will not occur over the continental United States again for another 20 years. The last total solar eclipse that stretched entirely across the lower 48 was in 2017. This one will be different than that last one in a lot of ways. Here's how. First, the path of totality will be wider, so more Americans will be able to view it. Second, totality will be longer in duration than it was in 2017. Clocking in at over four minutes. Third, the sun will also be nearing a solar maximum with a heightened magnetic field. So as each of these elements converge, it will provide scientists with a great opportunity to study the sun during this event. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes directly between the earth and the sun. When you factor in the orbits of rotation of the moon and the earth, the timing for this to occur so close to West Michigan is rare. So to say this will literally be a once in a lifetime event for Michiganders isn't a stretch. Once the moon lines up perfectly in between the Earth and the sun, the sun's rays can no longer fully shine down on Earth. Darkness in the middle of the day. This often looks like dawn or dusk within that path of totality. Now, it should be noted, not everyone will be able to see the total solar eclipse in the United States. Most will only see a partial solar eclipse. And here's a map showing that path of totality along with the percentage of the sun that will be eclipsed during the event. The path begins in Mexico and it will travel northeast extending through Maine. Now a few of the closest cities that will be close to totality includes parts of Indianapolis, Dayton, Toledo and Cleveland. So really not too far away from West Michigan. Here in West Michigan we will specifically see that closer towards the south of Grand Rapids but it will be traveling through parts of the south of Fort Wayne, Toledo and eventually in Cleveland by 3:15 p.m. on April 8th. Specifically in Grand Rapids the eclipse begins at 155 in the afternoon. It will reach its maximum of 94% at 311 in the afternoon, ending at 424. Here's a list of other Michigan cities and the estimated totality. Kalamazoo will see a 95% totality at 310 in the afternoon. Now, when it comes to viewing tips, whether you're planning to stay in West Michigan or travel closer to Toledo or maybe even Indianapolis, you will want to plan ahead and make sure that you have protective eyewear. Looking directly at the sun during an eclipse without protection could result in severe eye injur injury. You will also need specific eclipse glasses. Regular sunglasses or welding glasses will not work. The viewing potential will come down to the weather forecast and we'll deliver that for you right here at the Fox 17 green screen. But for now, visit Fox17online.com for additional details about the solar eclipse on April 8th.